right. I'm gonna go for a little different video today. We're going with, I mean, it's gonna be more raw because it's only eight tonight, training tonight. I'm doing chest tonight, he's got arms. And uh, I was under the weather for a few days. I had fucking, I had some type of head cold. I'm still a little congested, but I didn't miss many meals and I was still fucking in it. I don't know, I'm really loving fucking training right now. I'm loving training right now. I'm getting stronger, I'm getting bigger. The added testosterone into my diet is fun. Uh, I want Aiden to, I wanted to train tonight with somebody here because I want to hit the 150, try and hit the 140s or the 150s on incline again. And 150s is heavy. I'm gonna get on film, do cool shit. Still thick boy season, I'm fucking in, having fun. And thank you guys all for the support. Young Ty, you guys using his code, code notebook, making his fucking life. The kid is in the shit right now. He's gonna be six weeks out this week. Um, it's awesome. I just can't thank you guys enough for the support. And thank you for supporting us even though we make zero money on these YouTube videos because young Aiden here has the fucking playlist of the century. Yeah, I got you guys. <laughs> But uh, super cool, we're having a ton of fun, and I put on normal, my normal clothes that I wear to work, and I'm like, these do not fit like they used to anymore. And that's like the gauge for everybody to know that they're making gains. Like, the fucking pants that I have on my Kuyu pants, they're tight on my calves, and I'm like, man, I've been training the calves again, dude. Like my ass, like I'm like, a little, little bit more of a squatter's ass there, brother. Like, it's fun, it's, my stature is kind of forming into what it used to be. It's not what I once was, by no means. I'm like, I hang in that 218 range right now. Uh, Trying to get back to that picture on your story. Listen, listen, that motherfucker was massive. I was a dense 240, so. The one, one, and one stack, ladies and gentlemen. Scoop of hydraulic, scoop of intake, scoop of demo day, maybe a little more hydraulic. I usually do like a heaping scoop, one level scoop, and then uh, demo day. Dude, it's, it's, uh, it's a rapid glycogen loader. So being a carbohydrate powder, it's kind of what you want to get out of it. You can take a half a scoop pre and a half a scoop intra, and then a half a scoop post. You can take one full scoop pre, or like one full scoop intra, however you want to work it. Um, I like to have Right now I did three quarters of a scoop pre and then I'll probably do a quarter to a half a scoop or I'll do a half a scoop intro. We're gonna get warmed up and let it rip. Raw video tonight, good tunes from Mr. Aiden. Yes sir. Bro, you ever just right. look back at old pictures, videos of yourself, you're like, I was shredded, like, I know I'm 20 pounds up now and I'm gonna be leaner when I get back down, but for some weird you, reason, you're like, I lost it all and I'm just fucking fat. Is that where you're at right now? Oh, I'm there. You fat guy. Dude, I okay. feel like I lost everything out. You're not, you're, you're, it's, we all have that body dysmorphia shit. Like, everybody's like, oh, I don't have body. Everybody has it. Everybody. I have the opposite right now of being like, man, I was fucking big as fuck. You know the rule, right? What's the rule? Like, you, like I'm, I'm big on seasonal training. I love, everybody knows that I switch my training more than fucking anybody. Yeah, think more season's coming to an end. Thick, <laughs> it does. When does thick boy season come to an end for everybody to get in shape for the summer? Like, you're freaking out about like, oh my God, I'm not lean enough. I was so much leaner and bigger. Dude, you're fucking 25 pounds bigger than you are now. You look way bigger than any from last year. Last year, we were like a child. Now you're like a man child. A small man. Okay, you're a small man child. Uh, but the rule, the rule is April 1st. April 1st is the rule. Oh, that's dude, when, then I'm spot on. I'm, my cut's on Monday. That's what I mean. You're, oh, really? Yeah. yeah then perfect. It's Monday's time, April 1st. I'm fucking going. Dude, it's April 1st is the rule. Like, that's whenever you clean it up. Like I always take like, I do it in the sense of uh, you start to clean it up April 1st. Cause you need like a week or two of like, you, cause like, I don't, yeah. I, 
I don't raw dog it, dude. I don't just stick it in. You I, war I warm like it up. Fucking Sunday full fucking pizza to Monday like I'm in it. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. I like to take two weeks. Like April first is when you begin to clean it up. You start cutting the fucking snacks out. Whole meals, whole solid meals, six whole meals throughout the day. No more fucking snacks. Snacks are the first thing to go. And then it's like, okay, what's gonna be tough is like your lifestyle of like, if you're a weekend eater or a night eater or something like that, like you're gonna be like, okay, now I have my scheduled refeeds and my scheduled cheats. But you know on the weekends, you might be like, man, I really like this or that. So I take two weeks and then usually halfway through April is whenever I'm fucking full into it again. No more fucking snacks, no more nothing. Because, dude, come fucking beginning of June, dude, you better be ready. Oh, take dude. your shirt. You better take your shirt off and feel good about once yourself. Once you get to that seventy degrees, you're like, <laughs> if you got any extra chub, you uh -uh, feel dude. Like shit. Dude, one, I, I, right now my biggest, my biggest complaint is the fact that about myself and eating more is like the side fat. Like I'm a wide waisted guy, dude. That's where I hold all my fat is in my love handles. It's right here, and me not being like in this type of. Like I haven't been trying to look like a bodybuilder for a long time. Dude, all my fat is around my waist. So when I hit certain shots, I'm like, dude. But right now, I need to push the food. I have to. I have to push calories. So you can't push 4,000 calories of decent food, but it's still fucking 4,000 calories. You're gonna, you're, it's, you're still in a surplus. So it's like, dude, where, like, where's the excess go? I get a little fluffy yeah. in the edges, dude. And then like you wear certain pants and you're like, Ugh. but like I was saying at the beginning of the video, dude, I'm like, ooh, calves, baby. My ass cheeks are getting bigger. Like, dude, so it's like that, it's coming, but it's also coming at the expense of here. Not like drastically, but like I'm looking, I'm like, I just want to get rid of it. And I'm like, I can't get rid of it and get fucking that much bigger. Like my, my, my test isn't through the roof. The sauce isn't through the roof, so I don't have that advantage, I mean, right. at least not yet. Uh, but like that's that's the battle that everyone fights. And that's funny you say that fucking two week thing, because I've always done that. I've always called it like my one week is my test week. Oh really? It's like my so it's funny we we probably all do the same shit, and then you don't know you're not alone until you talk to someone, and they're like, yeah. Everybody has this, it's different verbiages, but the same concepts. Because dude, you have to have a point whenever you're like, hey. No more whole fucking pizzas, fatty. Listen, chubby. <laughs> Cut the fucking shit. Like everybody, you have to have that moment.
Come on now. Uh, uh, uh. I learned about back off sets. So we did the 150s for six, or set set. The 150s for six, the 75s for 12, and now I'm gonna do a back off set with the hundreds. Probably get for as many as I can, but I want it to be, uh, I wanna feel, I gotta rebuild the shelf on, on my upper chest. Chest is thick down low, I've always had like a dominant lower chest, great fullness and roundness like this big fucking hanging tit. But like gotta rebuild that thickness up top because I'm dominant delts. So I wanna create that fucking thick upper shelf all the way across. So I'm gonna focus on that and getting a good squeeze at the top. I got good reps with everything. Feel strong, feel safe. So hit the hundreds. Still on the incline bench. We're doing heavy incline flies, uh, three to four sets. Uh, start at 65s, get 12, move to 75s, get probably 10. Uh, move to the 85s. Uh, I like the heavy. Uh, incline flies are my shit. Uh, so I 
need, like I said, I'm continuing to work across there. Big, full, I feel it. Um, ate good, ate good today. Staying hydrated. All right, doesn't matter how many fucking supplements you take. If you are not hydrated, they're not gonna fucking work the same. So, water is key. I'd probably say during my training sessions, I get about probably like a liter and a half, liter, like 20 ounces. I go by, okay, so Dorian Yates said, I think it was like a liter of, you should at least be getting in a liter of fluid at, during your workouts. And I always like kept that in my head. But we're American, we go off ounces and gallons, not liters. Uh, so like a liter is like 33 ounces, and uh, I think it's 33 and change. So I like to get in two shakers little over two shakers. One is just straight water, and then this is my second shaker for the uh, workout, even though I'm only on my second exercise. The first exercise, I like to take my time, build up, fucking move some shit, get the weight, and then I like to decrease my rest uh, between sets as I progress through the workout with my flies, and then some pullovers, and then some machine work and crossovers and shit like that. The, rep, the, the rest time decreases, but this one has a half a scoop of demo day and a scoop of, uh, uh, the grind, so some carbs and aminos, and then we just keep moving. But uh, concept, upper chest, big, full, round, drink your fucking fluids. Doesn't matter how much fucking hydraulic you take, intake, whatever pre-workout, if you do not drink enough fluids throughout the day, they will not be as effective. So get your water in.
movement number three, and then we'll do pullovers to finish. Daddies!
way heavier at the end of the fucking workout. All right. Good session. I gotta finish with, uh, Aiden's gotta do his cardio. I'm gonna finish with some dumbbell pullovers and go home and get some food. The workout is in the bio. Make sure you guys go check it out. Use code notebook, support Ty. Other than that, another day. Big food, big training, I love it. Thank you guys for all the continued support. It is fucking beautiful. We have a ton of new shit coming from all the companies throughout the entire year. The never ending chocolate, the marshmallow milk. Huge success, it was awesome. Make sure that you goes, guys go support your all your local stores. Local supplement shops are part of your communities, so go put foot traffic in there. Support the company, support your stores. I love it. Other than that, I'm just gonna keep training, enjoying life. Follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys keep checking everything out that we do. Other than that, keep being good motherfuckers. And as always, chalk up them pimp hands. Slap the old lady on the ass, your old lady on the ass, and let her know you love her. Love you motherfuckers.